welcome back storm fans bryant cook and on this saturday morning we are playing oracle shift and if you're unfamiliar with this archetype we are obviously using Thassa's oracle a very popular card in legacy often sees play in the deck doomsday well we're, then we're using paradigm shift a card from weatherlight which is one in a blue for a sorcery exile all cards from your library all of them and then shuffle your graveyard into your library so it's like a blue doomsday uh, for the purposes of this deck. So the idea is that you keep your graveyard slim and then switch and then cast your Oracle. Well, how do we do that? Especially in a deck with fetch lands, right? Well, we have Relic of Regenitus, which is admittedly a card I tried cutting from this deck because it's not that powerful, but it's fine. And I ended up adding it back in because the real card we want to use to slim our graveyard is Murktide Regent, a very powerful card and a terrific backup plan. So this card obviously has Delve, which exiles cards from your graveyard to make it easier to cast. Well, with Relic of Progenitus, every turn you get to pump your Murktide Regent. So you actually win the Murktide War with this deck, uh, which is pretty sweet. Relic is also just like a, like a hyper giant growth for Murktide Regent. So is Paradigm Shift. So there's a lot of synergies in this deck because if you have a stocked graveyard with a Murktide in play, Paradigm Shift could just be 20 damage. So it's like a blue giant growth, which is just bananas. But why play Oracle Shift, right? Like it's doing, it's in the same space as Doomsday, right? Like you're the slower blue combo control deck. And that's really what this is. It's combo control. And I think the reason that you would play a deck like Oracle Shift is that you have access to Swords to Plowshares and Prismatic Ending. So you're trading away some of the speed that Doomsday has for a better Delver of Secrets matchup, which is pretty interesting to me. Then on top of that, you have Teferi Time Raveler to stop things like Dress Down, which is pretty sweet. So that's what we're doing here today. And then you can even sideboard into a true control deck in some matchups. So if your opponent's playing Galvanic... <coughs> excuse me, Galvanic Relay, you have Aethersworn Canonist. If they're on Elves, you have Terminus. And honestly, with I mean, Brainstorm, Ponder, and Preordain, you have a lot of cantrips to set up this Terminus, which is pretty nice. And then just like Doomsday, we do have four Force Negation in the sideboard to truly control combo decks. You don't really need anything like a Disenchant because you have Prismatic Ending, uh, at least in my experience. And obviously, sur Surgical Extraction is for decks like Reanimator. If you have any questions on this deck or suggestions, leave those in the comment section down below. I do try to read all of those. But for now, we're going to hop right on in to match number one, and I will see you there. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to click that like button, leave a comment, and subscribe. That said, there's no better way of showing your support than becoming a member of this channel. You get sweet perks, and we get to keep making combo content. The perks get better and better each level you go up. They also stack. To start off, with our Storm Fan tier, you unlock our private member section of our Discord, which comes with a highlighted user profile, and then some awesome badges and emotes for YouTube. Looking for some Cyborg help? Become a Stormtrooper, our middle tier, for two Cyborg guides of your deck choice every single month, on top of 50% off donation decks. Did we mention you also get 10% off merchandise from our shop? With our top tier, the Combo Cabal, you get a free donation deck every single month, 15% off merchandise from our shop, early access to private deck lists, and the most valuable perk in my opinion, videos early. That's right, you heard it, early access to all videos. Videos. But maybe Sweet Perk Secret Deck List Early Access to Videos isn't for you, but you'd still like to show your appreciation. Make sure to check out theepicstorm.com slash shop for card singles and storm swag. Please don't forget to use your membership discounts. Finally, if you want to see your combo deck here on this very YouTube channel, make sure to visit theepicstorm.com slash donation decks, where all you have to do is attach your TXT file and pick a donation tier. With our epic tier, you can even join me in a video to showcase your bold brew in person and explain the ins and outs of your strategy. Card availability won't be an issue due to our new sponsor, Card Hoarder. With Card Hoarder, renting is super easy. If you're looking to get into Magic Online, Online, there isn't a better, more affordable solution than Card Hoarder. Fun fact, you can rent the Epic Storm for seven tickets a week, which is just a great deal. There are many ways you can support us. Just pick whatever is best for you. In the meantime, let's play some magic. Welcome to round number one. We are on the Plagueins Faulted Form, who tends to play a lot of oops all spells. And while well, I'm not going to turn down the Relic of Progenitus Force of Will Hand against oops all spells. Keep, 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 keep. 
All right, Relic of Regenitus. Pass the turn. All right, so it looks like it's not Oopsel spells. That's good. Duress. All right, we're going to let that go. So they're likely in Dark Depths, if I had a guess. We're going to Relic ourselves. Let's get rid of the Flooded Strand, draw. Beautiful draw there. Let's cast Preordain. We don't really need these. Yeah, let's bottom both. Another Relic. I think I'll ponder. So they took Sword, so I think we're going to keep this. And I think we put Shift on the bottom. So we just need to find an Oracle now. Lotus Petal. And they are on Depths, okay. So on their end step, once again, we're going to Relic ourselves, remove the Ponder. Good deal. Draw. And I'm going to cash this in now. All right, so we drew the shift. And now the brainstorm should be a fresh brainstorm. I don't think we're at risk of death here, so I'm going to cast the brainstorm looking for land three. We found it. Um, so we're just a land away from winning on our turn. Put back the relic and brainstorm. Um, maybe I want the brain. I think relic shift. Okay, so if I brainstorm, oh no, I'm one card away if I do that. Hmm. And there's the depths. All right, so I might have to do this uh, a little bit more slowly. Or I can just try to spike the land here. Draw. Did not hit the land. All right, so let's cast shift. So our library will be Brainstorm Flooded Strand. All right, and we just have to pass the turn. On our next turn, we win the game. And our opponent has to go for Merit Lodge here. Yep. You have a Dark Depths combo. And now we cast Sword Supply Shares. We have Force of Will if they have anything. And we will force that. That said, uh, Thassa's Oracle is unprotected now. Ghost Quarter, that doesn't matter. Sure. All right, untap and cast Oracle. Whoops. Might as well play that, why not? Oracle, woot woot. That is how we do. Oracle shift, love to see it. All right, so I think this is a matchup where Merktide Regent might not be quite as good. Um, I could be wrong. Because I don't know if I love any of these other cards that much here. Like you could board in Forest Indigation, but is that really what we want to be doing? Hmm. I guess it is a flying blocker. I think we might just resubmit here. So the reason we don't want Terminus is it's actually really hard to set up against a deck like uh, Depths because they can instant speed. Uh, their Merit Lodge based around how you were setting up. So we'll see what they do, if they have any Juke plan or anything like that in game two. But if they stay to the traditional Depths plan, I don't think we want Terminus. You're welcome to tell me that I'm wrong. I'm completely fine with that. Okay. I think we keep this. Opponent Mulligan's to five. Thespian stage and passes the turn. Draw. Hello, swords. Great rip. Love to see it. Welcome to the club. 
Mukwa being our terrific hand. All right, we're going to hide the swords to plowshares here. Okay. Um, do I hide both? I think I'm supposed to get rid of one of the lands and just accept that force is probably going to be discarded here. Yep. Okay, draw, we'll play the Flooded Strand. Relic. And pass the turn. Urborg, okay. So we're going to fetch again. Uh, let's grab another Tundra, just in case a Ghost Quarter or something happens, and then we can uh, Relic them. We don't want to Relic ourselves, because we're trying to cast Murder Tide Regent. It doesn't make a whole lot of sense. Draw. Uh, pass the turn. And there's the Dark Depths. Okay, two cards still in hand. Draw. We just have to pass here. And they're going for it. I'm going to do this in their upkeep because if they have something like crop rotation, uh, I guess it doesn't really matter. Not of this world. Uh, okay, I will cast another Swords to Plowshares. Rexian mana. Okay, uh, well, they're hellbent and we get to fluster storm this. Same targets. And I'm just going to relic them. Hit that F6 key. I was, I guess I was a little bit punished by waiting in their upkeep. I guess, never mind. It didn't really matter. We don't know what their draw step will be. Looks like they're passing. Draw. We're a land away now. Um, let's cast Merktad, I guess. And pass the turn. I think I might sacrifice the relic here looking for land. There we go. Shift. And Thassa's Oracle. Wooch, wooch, we did it. We're 1 0 with Oracle Shift. I'll see you in match two. If you haven't joined them already, I would recommend opening up our description down below and joining our seven social media networks. They're each great in their own way, but I would strongly suggest joining our Discord server. In there, you will find others just like you looking to improve their Storm game and grow as a combo community. If you're a member of our YouTube channel, you should sync your account to Discord to unlock our private member section that has the latest and greatest deck lists, concepts, and much, much more. Let's get back to comboing out. All right, match number two, and our opponents reveal a Yorian, so they're likely in Death and Taxes. We're going to keep this. I don't know how good this hand actually is, but I think it's somewhat reasonable. We do need lands, and we need to find a paradigm shift. All right, so not death and taxes. I think I actually like that. Draw. There's the shift. All right, so what we're looking for this game are lands. Let's grab a basic island here. No need to get wastelanded. Um, I think I'm actually going to keep both of these. Tropical island, and it looks like our opponent's just passing the turn here. Draw. Oh my, it's a preordain. I didn't see that coming. I think we bottom the swords and keep Vista. Pass the turn. Then next turn we have Brainstorm Fetch. You can have an Ice Fang, that's fine. All right, so we're gonna fall to 18 here. And another Ice Fang. So they're looking for land three. And they missed. Draw. Okay, so that was good. We would like to find a relic. 
Uh, I guess maybe we keep this and regen around. I was actually going to brainstorm this away, but now I think we want it. Um, so if I fetch here, that's five cards to graveyard, and then we can cast Murktide. And next turn we can play Oracle with Force Backup. So I'm going to put back the two lands, but we're not going to have a white source to cast the swords. And if they want to force this Murktide, I am all in for that. Yeah, good deal. That was a protection spell. And they pitched another, another force. So next turn we just have Oracle plus Shift. Okay, so we are falling to 15. And another Ice Fang. You got it. Five cards still in hand. Paradigm shift. Come on, what's the worst that could happen? Fast as Oracle. All right, they have another force. Pitching Uro, we will force their force. And we're gonna keep around the extra shift in case this gets countered. I could tr uh, try to come back next turn. They have a fourth force of will. All right, so we're not dead yet. Kind of wild though. They opened up four forces in their 80 card deck. All right, so we're, like I said, we're not dead here. We're at 11. Dress down, that's a little greedy. Uh, draw. They might think they have me, which is why they're doing it that way. But we'll cast shift again. Oracle's back in our deck. All right, so we have a 33% chance to draw Oracle. It's somewhere random in the bottom three. Right now we will not die before we draw it, I believe. They chose to shuffle with the ponder. And they conceded, nice. Okay, so they now know about the jig. The question is, do we want to switch how we're boarded? I think, they saw the Murktide, so I don't know if we want to board in Mentor. I do think that like maybe we, we don't want all of our removal. Um, that's a realistic possibility here. So I don't hate Mentor as like a juke. So I don't hate Mentor as a juke, as I said. Sorry, I had a sneeze and I paused it. Forgive me. Uh, but I don't hate Mentor. The problem is, does it beat Uro? Because like if the slower we become, the more card, the more that cards like Uro matter. So that's something I, I am slightly concerned with. And is Prismatic ending a card we want? Like it hits Sylvan Library, so I don't know if I want to board out all of them. But we could definitely shave on one. Probably take out another Swords. Wait, what if we just did something like this? I think that this is like pretty reasonable. Let's try this out. All right. Uh, this seems fine, I think. Beseju. You have your abundant growth. Draw. Beautiful. All right, preordain. I will keep these. Field of the Dead. You got it. All right, I'm going to brainstorm this turn so that we don't have to worry about Hull Breacher. Let's cast that. I'm probably going to put back at least one Murktide. Well, hmm. All right, that wasn't a very good brainstorm if I'm being honest. So let's preordain. Okay, I see you. So next turn we can play Merc Tide to empty our graveyard, plus have Fluster back up. Not that I think we want to use the Fluster, but it's an option. Draw. Okay, so now we get to play the Merc Tide Regent. And we have a dragon. 
opponents casting brainstorm so this is one of the things about why this deck is good is that your opponent can't just focus on oracle shift they also have to be worried about murktide regent and to fairy so basically you're just stretching your opponent thin like i could just jam shift oracle next turn but i don't think i'm going to do that instead i'm going to try playing to fairy with fluster back up all right, they grabbed a forest. Ice Fang, okay. I guess they're working towards the uh, Death Touch aspect of Ice Fang, so that makes a little bit of sense here. And another snow-covered land, okay. Uro, Titan of Nature's, who gives a crap? If I ever play a deck that cares deeply about Uro, I just want you to stop watching this channel. Um, that's the hard lesson here, I guess. All right, let's play... Actually, I should leave up a basic instead, in case for some reason they have Wasteland, I don't get punished. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, let's undo... There we go. The fairy. Horse pitching Narsa. I'm going to attempt to protect this to fairy. And they have their own fluster. Okay, they still have three cards in hand. To fairy will unfortunately move on. All right, the stack is slowly clearing here. This is painful. Wait, did my tip? How? They must have messed up somehow. That shouldn't have resolved. All right, get punished, I guess. Get in there. Now on our turn, we just have Shift Oracle. Their own copy of Teferi, sure. Island. Sure, so we're going to be 2-0. I just need to cast my spells. Shift and Oracle. Hiya. I will keep that on top. Wooch wooch. Uh, to quote Phil Blockman, what to do? Or something like that, right? But uh, we're too out. Well. Let's see if we can win three more. Playing your favorite combo deck in paper just got so much easier with the Epic Storm mini token pack. You can pick one up at theepicstorm.com slash shop for $13. It includes 64 double-sided mini tokens. That's 128 tokens total. And they include 10 black, 10 blue, 10 red, 5 green, 5 white, 3 colorless, 20 storm counters. That means that you can count your way all the way up to 20 for grape shot everyone's favorite stormwind condition, a galvanic relay exile indicator, four treasure tokens for strike it rich, and then 10 monk tokens for our vintage friends. It also has slime time live, eighth progenitor ooze tokens with the power toughness already built in to make playing in paper so much easier. No fumbling around with dice, we've got you covered. Make sure to go grab those if you're playing modern. And then Squirrels versus Goblins, Chatterstorm versus Empty the Warrens, the Battle of the Ages. You definitely need 20 Squirrel tokens and 20 Goblin tokens. You're going to love this mini token pack, I promise. And once again, you can grab that at theepicstorm.com slash shop. Match three, and we are facing Winger of NC, who typically plays a lot of Sneak and Show decks. We're going to try this out. Okay, let's turn one, ponder. I think we're just gonna shuffle that. That doesn't really do anything we're looking for. And pass the turn. Volcanic into ponder, you got it. All right, draw. Um, I think we just start on preordain. If they wanna daze this, have at it. Do I want to fairy? I think the answer is probably yes. All right, let's grab our Tundra and cast another Preordain. But I think I'm going to keep this shift just to pitch to force. Ooh, might not be sneaking show. How about that? 
joining the dark side. Yeah, this is just blue red. Okay. Merktide Regent. I think we should probably play Merktide. Grab another Tundra. Merktide is a powerful card. And, uh, well, you channeled it, right? You called for my dragon. They're going to force Merktide Regent. Itching Brainstorm, four cards in hand. I think I'm going to force back. We'll pitch Paradigm Shift. If they daze, we can pay. All right, so if this becomes Delirious and we block, they could bolt our dragon. Um, but part of me thinks that maybe we just, you know, race them. Because I can play Teferi through daze and just bounce their channeler as well. This is their own dragon. It is their own dragon. They're using that delve mechanic right now. Bragging about the bigger dragon. It's not very nice. Draw. Okay, let's play Teferi. And then we can bounce their Merc Tide. We will minus. Ooh. I think I just leave the dragon back on defense now. Because the, the if I attack, they can just attack and kill Teferi, where I just have a clean kill on our turn if they don't kill Tef. All right, well, they killed Tef. Womp womp. Um, that happens. Wasteland, okay. You know, I'm going to float a white. So I could cast Brainstorm, but I really don't want to play into Daze. We know that they have Merktide and two unknowns. Brainstorm. And another dragon. All right, so... We can't cast the other dragon quite yet. I think we just leave these on top. Maybe I already show them the shift actually, which is kind of a bummer. Another Merc Tide. So I could play the other Merc Tide here, but it plays directly into days. I'm just going to be a little more disciplined and uh, wait till next turn and not lose to days. All right, so they can play their dragon now. Delver, sure. So they have Merc Tide and one unknown. Okay, draw. Merc Tide. I didn't think Merc Tide would be this good, but it's just crushing here. Get in there. Pass the turn. So they need Delver to flip, and then they need to play their Merc Tide as a chump blocker. I guess they could go to post combat and then make channeler larger, but the dragons did it. No combo needed. All right. So I do think that this is a matchup where we probably want the terminus. And as much as I loved it, I think Teferi's a little bit of a liability here. So we're going to get rid of the Teferi's. We need one more slot. I wonder if you just like shave a preordain. Is that crazy? Or maybe you shave one oracle? I'm not sure. Let's try one less oracle. Uh, it's a hand. I don't know how much I love it, but it plays magic. Volcanic and a channeler, sure. Draw. Merc died. Ponder. Beautiful. Okay. We're going to get the basic planes this game. I'm not going to leave myself open to Wasteland. 
Mitter's passing. Okay. We'll do the same. All right, they have five cards. We'll just take one here. I'm not going to waste the swords quite yet in case I accidentally draw Terminus. Go get that basic planes. Draw. Ending. Ponder. It's looking pretty good for us right now. Well, it's ending this uh, channeler. I can play Dragon next turn, I think, with double backup. All right. They've got nothing going on here. So if I play Dragon, I have to pay three mana. It's a 6-6. Six, six. I can Fluster and Force, but I would get blown out by Daze. I'm just going to wait. I think not enough players are patient, which is just like a new player thing where you feel like you always have to do something and I just don't feel that anymore draw I'm just going to pass there's a Delver swords to plowshares good deal draw another shift let's try Regent all right, we have a dragon. It's worth noting that Pyroblast can uh, be a pain in the butt in this matchup. What is this? Petty Theft. That seems like a pretty good target for Fluster Storm. Okay, so they still have five cards. Brainstorm, sure. Six cards in hand and Ponder. They shuffled off the ponder, which is a good sign for us. Although, I can't help but feel like I'm behind. Like, them having six cards is so huge. Uh, am I supposed to force this? I think the answer is yes. Okay, so I'm a little surprised that resolved. They might have another draw. I'm going to hold that for a potential brainstorm. Swing. Pass the turn. Bolts me. So I think that means that they're trying to play their own Merktide Regent this turn. And they are. Yep, it's a big one. Wasteland. Three cards left in hand. I'm going to take a draw step first, like before I swords this. Because if I draw a Fluster or a way to protect the swords, I'd prefer that. Okay, let's, uh, swords, I guess. Get in there. So now I feel like we're ahead, um, because I have a feeling that by now they at least have a few copies of Days in their hand. Sure. And we're just bullying them with Murktide Regent. Bobble, you got it. It's worth noting you can use shift as just a really big giant growth, but I feel like that's pretty reckless at this stage of the game. What did we reveal? The flooded strand? Okay. Draw. I'm just going to get in there. And pass. I'm going to hold the lands. We have to let Ponder resolve. Did not shuffle, so they found the Pyroblast, I think. Or just Expressive Iteration? I don't know if... If they found Expressive Iteration off Ponder, I think you're supposed to shuffle. Because this looks like two of the same three. Bobble? You have to have a Pyroblast in hand. What? This doesn't make sense to me. Are you sandbagging a land? Okay. They have to be holding a Pyroblast. Draw a card off Bobble. No, they just conceded. Murktide wins both games against Blue Red Delver. How about that? And we are 3 0 without dropping a game. Hey, you're still watching.
Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, and subscribe. If you're looking to make a purchase from Card Hoarder, TCG Player, or Amazon, and are looking to support us, you can open up our description down below, and in there you will find our affiliate links. Those same links are found on the homepage of the Epic Storm, but that's not all. We've included a Card Hoarder button on our website that will load the Epic Storm in your Card Hoarder cart to make life simple for you. All right, match number four, and we are facing our round one opponent again. They're probably in a new league, so we don't know if they're on Oopsal Spells or the Depths deck again, but regardless, I can't keep this hand. Mulligan. I think this is fine. We just bought him Prismatic Ending. And it looks like they're on Oopsal Spells. Okay. Draw. So they're likely trying to go for a protected win. Land number two. I would really love to draw Fluster Storm right now. Draw, ponder. Let's cast it. We don't want those, we can shuffle. Yikes. Okay. I think we're dead. Yep. I mean, like, I could have forced Cabal Ritual. I just don't think that's the right play. Do they have all four Narcomipas? They do. Okay. We lost our first game. Womp womp. Okay. Happens. Let's bring in Cannonist. Surgicals. Forces. Let's get rid of these swords and prismatic ending. So that puts us at 62. I think we can probably get rid of Murktide Regent. Let's try this out. You could also board out the basic planes, um, but I don't really want to go down to land. Can't keep, unfortunately. Sure. Keep bottom of land. Tundra pass. Turn timber. Okay. Are you trying to turn one me? Yeah. All right. Would it be easier to remove Oracle? Probably. They do have this memories journey. I think we just Surgical Narc Amoeba. They have two cards. So do I care about Memory's Journey? So if I force this, then they have a Pact Negation, I'm gonna feel like an idiot. So one Pact, two Pact, three Pacts. So their fourth card in hand could be a Pact Negation. Oh, they only shuffle in the one. I have to force this. If their fourth card is packed, they had the perfect hand. Wow, that was a perfect hand. Jeez. Okay, they got me. Um, wow. Yeah, tip the cap, you got me. All right, 3-1. If you're looking for more great Magic the Gathering content, definitely check out the Eternal Glory podcast. It is myself, Brian Cook, alongside Brian Koval and Phil Gallagher. We primarily discuss Legacy. That said, a lot of what we talk about transcends all formats. We're available on all major podcast platforms. All right, the fifth and final match versus Legend Spatula of the Ages, one of the original members of the source back in the day. We're going to see if we can win. They typically play a lot of Enchantress. So the, the nice thing about this matchup for us is that we're not trying to deal them damage. So this is a matchup where Murktide is pretty much only going to be used for clearing our graveyard. And they can have a Utopia Sprawl. I don't mind about that. So here we have a force to protect ourselves a little bit. But I do need more lands and then Paradigm Shift. 
And there's the shift. So now we just have to find the easy part of the deck, which is lands. Bottom of the brainstorm, keep the island. So actually, next turn, I can play shift. Let's uh, not F6. I can play shift into Oracle with force backup. So that might be the game plan here. You can have a Utopia Sprawl. I'm not going to force a commune with spirits. It's fine. Sure. I'm not going to force things that don't matter. Draw. Another shift. So we're just going to cast shift. Well, our deck will be exactly one copy of Preordain. Next turn we play Oracle with force backup. Abundant growth, you got it. Three mana here. Destiny Spinner. Um, I guess I'll force this. It doesn't really matter. And commune with spirits. Okay. I guess if for some reason they had like a main deck swords to plowshares, I could actually be punished. Maybe that's a reason not to force the Destiny Spinner. But I didn't get punished, and we got a victory. Woot woot. So here we definitely want these Force Negations. I think we could probably just take out... I don't know if I'm allowed to take out Murktide. Um, I don't know. Like, Teferi doesn't actually seem that good, so we can get rid of Teferi. Like, three mana to bounce an enchantment, so, like, pretty stinky. And then I think, like, maybe we can shave on two copies of swords. Let's try this out. Alright, so we have a hand that's okay here. Ooh, maybe I was supposed to board out Flusters. I didn't consider that. Um, yeah, that was a mistake on my part. That would have definitely been better as a Teferi, but... We'll keep this. Okay. Savannah. Kind of a pain in the butt. All right. Draw. Island pass. We're going to let that go. I can just sort that. Draw. Merc tide. Okay. I believe I can't cast this yet. I'm going to let that go. I don't think that's worth forcing. Picked up a forest. Sure. And another paladin class. All right. You have a pseudo defense grid. They only have three cards in hand, so I can just force anything that actually matters. Cycling cast out. Okay. What does this do? When it enters the battlefield, return a permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. So they get to return cast down to their hand. And that means I can't play the Murktide unless they cycle it again. I think I'm just going to let them have that. That's not really force worthy to me. Um, they're probably just going to cycle it again, too. Like, I don't see them holding that. Okay, pass the turn. Cycling the cast out. Three mana to level up Paladin class. Sure. All right, we're at 17. Draw. That's a good one. Brainstorm. Let's get rid of, rid of these flusters that don't do anything. Uh, I could play a Murktide. I think I should probably do that. I guess the downside of playing Murktide here is it does take me off force. I'm going to wait a turn. 
All right, so this thing is a four now. All right, so this thing's going to be a double striker next turn. So this th could actually end up killing me. We played out foothills, still two cards in hand. I have one swords and two prismatic endings in my deck for it. Choke. Alright, uh, so we have to pay two. I'm going to pitch the Force of Will. Because it's going to be easier to just hard cast the Thon. Alright, so... I think I want to play the Preordain so that way the Murktide's a 7-7. Seven, seven. Alright, let's keep the Ponder. Ponder. So I could take the Preordain and then the Murktide would be an 8-8, but it'd still die to this becoming a double striker, so I think I'm going to shuffle, looking for uh, a shift. I didn't get the shift. Okay. So now they have to look. Oh no, this has Menace. I can't even block it. So it would put me to one. So that means I'd have to chump next turn with the Thassa's Oracle. Okay, so I think they're just putting me in check here. Okay, draw. Another Oracle. We know that they have the cast out. I don't really want any of those, so no. I think I'm supposed to just pass here. Hard cast the Force of Negation. And then we pretty much have to get lucky to win, I believe. If I draw a shift, we just win on the spot because my devotion's so high. All right, so let's get rid of one of these. Okay. Draw. Boom. Wow. Uh, that does it. That does it. Wow. So we got the 4 1. Wooch, wooch. Uh, this deck was pretty good. I would actually play this deck again. We lost to the Nuts Usaw Spells draw. It's going to happen. Like, they had the perfect seven that beat four surgical. Like, how am I supposed to beat that? Uh, but honestly, I know how I was supposed to beat it. I wasn't supposed to target an Arkham, I was supposed to target the Oracle. I was thinking about that in between rounds. Uh, if I targeted Oracle, it doesn't matter if they uh, Memories Journey because they can't cast it. And then that Pact of Negation would have lost to my Force of Negation. So I targeted the wrong thing with my Surgical. I knew this uh, after the match. I was thinking about it, and I forgot to mention in the beginning of round five. But that's a play mistake on my part. Uh, I mean, I'm, I don't usually play these cards, so bear with me. This deck list was really, really strong. I loved it. Thank you for watching. Let me know what you thought, and have a great day. Hey, Brian Cook here. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like and subscribe, but also follow the social media channels down below. If you want to support this content directly, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com shop. And if you need a little bit of assistance with the Epic Storm to get to that next level, I would recommend going to theepicstorm.com tutoring. Don't worry, there's more great content coming right up.